Oh, we've all seen those reality shows where they show people hoarding. New tonight, meet the Valley firefighter who was badly burned because of a real-life hoarding situation right here in Tempe. ABC 15's Jennifer Parks is live at that home now to explain what happened and how big of a problem this is. Jen, the home looks like a total loss there. It is, Steve, and you can see right now it's completely fenced up right now. Look at look at all the stuff that's around the pool, all that debris, boxes. Well, inside it was stacked from the floor to the ceiling. And that was not only a fire hazard for the people who lived inside, but it almost took two of the firefighters' lives. You know, I'd never been shot with a shotgun, but it felt like getting pelted with a, with a bunch of rocks or BBs on the side of your head. Tempe Fire Captain Mike Keel was putting on his fire gear in the doorway when an explosion blasted him in the face. Yeah, I could tell it initially that my, my ear got burnt. Four days later, you can still see the burns on his face. Another firefighter was also injured. When crews responded to this house fire, inside, investigators tell me they found items packed from the floor to the ceiling. This is just a a red flag for us. We've been in we've had three hoarding fires just in the last six months, just here in Tempe. Investigators believe something in the attic caused the explosion. Neighbors tell me the people living here were in their 50s, unemployed, and trying to run a business out of their home. Selling furniture and household goods out of their home. In the past, we were able to afford and use uh, storage units. They had closed those storage units and moved all of the, the material into their home. Now Valley Fire agencies are coming together trying to get the word out about hoarding and the dangers it poses to everyone around. Boxes, the paper, just the raw materials that are in these homes, it's like kindling to a campfire. This captain says he could have very easily lost his life. If we would have got into the house deeper and then and, and we did have that explosion, then yeah, if with the stuff, it would have made it uh, really difficult to, to escape, to get out of the house. And there's not a whole lot authorities can do when people are hoarding stuff in their house, say from the floor to the ceiling. It's only when that stuff gets out into the backyard. That's finally when your HOA can step in and sometimes your city codes department. For now, we're live in Tempe. Jennifer Parks, ABC 15 News.